welcome to this channel so here in this video i want to show you how to create a kubernetes cluster using a cubidium so in this kubernetes documentation you can see how to installing cubidium so here the prerequisites will be basic prerequisites will be 2 gb ram for a machine and then two cpu so what i am doing is i'm going taking one ec2 instance for master machine and another one as 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 worker machine here 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 i will take ubuntu server for master machines i will take t2 medium as it is having two cpu and four gb memory so this is not a free tire okay, go to here then add tags i'm not using any tags i'm opening all the ports in the security group because we need some ports to be open that those specific ports need to be open in the master machine and in local machine for what are the ports we required for this that is you can find it here set required ports so you go and open this place here you can find in control plan in master machines we will have to open these ports and work on machine we will have to open these specific ports so in production we we'll never open up all the ports only specific ports need to be open so i will launching the ec2 instance i already have one key i'm not creating any key using the same key now i'm launching the worker machine same ubuntu image i am taking this time i will take only t2 medium not t2 micro okay this one as a worker machine go to the security group and then here also i'm opening all the tcp okay okay my master machine is up and running and then this one is local machine sorry local machines okay now go to the master machine get the public ip go to mobile extreme to log into the ec2 instance i'm using mobile extreme go to ssh Keep the public IP, then username, open to, then key. I already have the PAM key. Using that key, I'm logging into the EC2 instance. And now I log into the worker machine EC2 instance. So go to here, to move by extra, and then session. Okay, then open to. And here select PAM key and then OK. So this is the master menu. I'll log in as a root user. Become root user here also. I'll run root user and then here in the documentation. From here, letting IP tables see bridge traffic. Take this code and then run it. Import the machine. I'm taking only one mocker machine. You can take whatever you need. You can take two, three, whatever you want. So, next. And here. And then, okay, machine as well. Then, check required ports. 
so already I have done like we have to open up these ports in worker machine and in master machine these ports so now installing runtime so in runtime as docker is already deprecated from kubernetes so I am going to install container at as a container runtime so if we go to that page the container runtimes go to container then get this code so here first step is installing configure prerequisites so get this one okay so i have forgot to run this command into this okay And in the worker nodes, I have run this and then must download also. Okay, and after that, go to the con container runtime, then run this command, get this command, and then run. And in worker machine as well, already I have run, but still I am running it again. Then run this to line of code. And here also in the master machine, run this in master machine and in local machine as well. Then take this code parameters, okay, and then okay. After that. Apply system parameters without reboot. Okay, done. And the local machine also done. Now install the container. So if I open up this space, how to install container? So we can go through these steps, but I am not going through these steps. I will go to the master machine and, and update the apt repository in both the machine apt update apt update okay sorry yeah so update is done now let's apt install container Here also install container. Okay. So container is installed. Now I'm going to this space for install container container installing container here uh, is the demo in both the machine and then I will enable the service okay now our next step coming back to the Kubernetes documentation and then go to this one installing kubedium kubelet and kubectl so in this case we have to start running this board apt get update this one then install kubedium kubelet and kubectl update the key button machine then get the 
Okay, but I just add the repo in the APT. Okay, now what we have to do is update the repo. Okay, get the repo and then install kubectl, kubelet, and kubeadm. Okay, installation is ongoing. Let's see. Okay. So this one is the master machine. I'm renaming this master, and this one is the worker machine. Okay. Now in the master machine, run this one. All the three services. And in Mocha also hold the three services and then no need to configure a signal driver. Sometimes we have to do that. Now I'm not using this one and go to next step. Getting cluster with Kubidium. So here in we have to initialize that. Kubidium. Kubidium init in the master machine. Just run it. So it will get all the manifest, all the ports, cube system ports will spin up and then it will give the joining token. That token will be required to join the Oka machine. To the Kubernetes cluster, master machine. So it will take about two to three minutes. Okay, let's done. Get this joining token from here. Okay, now run this in. The worker machine. You can see this node has joined in the cluster. Okay, now in the master machine, go down to the space here. Now come out from root user and then run as normal user so I'm updating the cube config file okay so I'm giving permission to the user and now if I run kubectl edit notes Some notes are not ready yet. Wait for some time. Is not ready yet. Get it in, get notes. What's the time?
फिर से चल के so now the code DNS is in pending state so what we have to do we have to install a port network add-on so in the same page here we can find out given this networking model network policy then okay Uh, just come back mm, here only we can get this one okay, open up this one plus the networking okay so these are the network plugin available calico flan panel and then these are available so what i will use i will use a web network so go to this webnet open up this page then go to install then go to here integrate given this via atom and then get this command and then run in the master machine so it will spin up a port this port you can see it is running and this code DNS is also creating you can see okay okay and now the nodes is also ready all name spaces you can see this is the cluster these are the ports services demo set deployment replica sets are running okay that's all in this video in the next video i'll show how to deploy prometheus grafana using helm chart thank you do share like and comment in this video thank you